story that could not come at a worse time for America's beleaguered airline industry already facing a towering PR problem. A new government survey finds consumer complaints have soared more than 55% because of delays, misconnections, and canceled flights. And today comes an even more explosive allegation, discrimination against a young girl with autism, and it all plays out on camera. Here's ABC's Cecilia Vega. The cameras were rolling when this Portland-bound United Airlines flight made an emergency landing in Utah. The major disturbance that brought flight 285 to a grinding halt not another case of an unruly passenger, but this 15-year-old girl. That's going to be a lawsuit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If she doesn't get understood, she'll start moving her hands or she'll start making sounds like, Woo -hoo! Juliet Beagle was diagnosed with autism just before she turned three. She has difficulty speaking and becomes upset if she doesn't have a warm meal. And her mom, Donna, says that is exactly what happened on that flight last Tuesday. Juliet didn't want any of the snacks her family packed for her, and she started to cry. So I asked the flight attendant if she had anything that was hot. Donna says she offered to buy a warm meal from first class, but was refused. I said, well, you know, maybe you could make an exception. Everything I asked, it was no. No, we can't do that. And then he left, and Juliet's howling louder, louder. Her, her sounds are getting louder, and I'm thinking, well, you know, come on, just help us out here. And so I called them back again. I was so frustrated, and I said, you know, I'm trying to prevent a meltdown here. If you could just give me something that's warm and hot, you know, it would so help us out. And he said, um, Again, no, he couldn't. Eventually, Donna says a flight attendant brought Juliet hot food, and that calmed her down. But by then, it may have been too late. He said, we're going to make an unexpected emergency landing in Salt Lake City. We have a passenger at the back of the plane who has a behavior issue. Paramedics and police board forcing the Beagles off the flight. I said, why? And he said, he doesn't feel comfortable flying with your daughter on his flight. That hurt. That took my breath. She shouldn't be treated like that. Many fellow passengers on board not happy. It's ridiculous. Angry about how Juliet was treated. She's a little girl, you know, and it's not like she was up screaming, lashing out at anyone or running up and down the aisle. Chris Hall was headed home after vacation in Mexico when he recorded it on camera. He was sitting right behind the Beagles and says none of the other passengers appeared bothered. He says the flight crew could have handled the situation much better. The whole thing is ridiculous. Uh, they should have just said, we don't normally give hot meals from first class to people in coach, but we'll do this for you just out of kindness. That anger now spreading to social media, the hashtag boycott united on Twitter. One person saying, after seeing the way you handle people with autism, I will never step foot on your airline. United says flight attendants work to accommodate the family and that the crew made the best decision for the safety and comfort of all our customers, diverting the plane after the situation became disruptive. Their claim about a safety issue she was in the window seat. Her, she's 120 pounds. Her dad is sitting next to her. He's 200 pounds. This was sheer ignorance. This was sheer ignorance about autism. It does appear to be an overreaction by the crew. And if that, in fact, is true, then this is something that should be a cautionary tale. It's also not cheap. By some estimates, a diverted flight can cost an airline up to $200,000. Ultimately, the captain is the final authority for any diversion decision because of an unruly passenger, but the captain also does that in conjunction with talking to his company. A new study found that in March alone, the transportation department logged more than 1,700 passenger complaints, many of them about flight troubles. The complaints were loud on a flight last summer after a flight attendant refused to let a three-year-old girl use the bathroom during a long delay on the tarmac. The little girl, well, you can imagine what happens next. I didn't have any towels or napkins with me. Um, no one offered to bring me anything to help clean it up. I took the sweater off my body and soaked up the mess with my clothes. The fastened seatbelt light was on when mom got up to help her daughter. The JetBlue crew was less than sympathetic. We have a non-compliant passenger on this flight. We're bringing her back to the gate to security. 
An off-duty pilot and other passengers who witnessed the incident intervened on the woman's behalf. JetBlue has now offered her an apology. But it's not just the airlines. Passengers themselves are behind much of the chaos in the friendly skies. There were more than 8,000 incidents of air rage in 2013, from drunken behavior to plain old rudeness. This man got so drunk on a New Year's Eve flight from Iceland to New York, he started screaming and spitting at his fellow passengers. They took matters into their own hands by taping him to his seat. A passenger on this JetBlue flight from New York to Las Vegas last year was so distraught, he punched and kicked the seats of his neighbors as flight attendants struggled to restrain him. All of a sudden, this guy who was sleeping just woke up out of nowhere and started flipping out. Former flight attendant Sean Kathleen says she's seen it all in her seven years in the air, and now she posts it all for the world to see. Passenger shaming on Instagram, from garbage in seat pockets to, yep, that's a condom, and those our bare feet. The most unruly passenger that I ever ran into was a gentleman in the forward or front lavatory who was smoking crack and he caught his hair on fire. Kathleen says she has experience flying with passengers with autism, but she says she never received any special training. There could have been other methods of dealing with the situation. Definitely education with crew members, especially with autistic passengers, people on the spectrum, would probably be really beneficial. And that training is exactly what the Beagles are now demanding. They plan to sue. If there had been awareness on the part of the crew, we would have gotten that help when we asked for it. They would have listened to us. We're not trying to get special privileges. You know, when you have a child with special needs, you need a little support from your community. They did finally make it home. They say too. United gave them a ticket for another airline. For Nightline, I'm Cecilia Vega in San Francisco.